really haunted places, does not support or endorse trespassing to visit haunted places. Before you decide to visit, please make sure to acquire the appropriate permits and or permissions, and be respectful of properties that are privately owned. What's up ghost hunters, welcome to the channel where I explore the most haunted places in the world. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey to Salem, Massachusetts, a town famous for its witch trials and its spooky history. Salem is one of the oldest and most haunted towns in America, with hundreds of years of stories and legends that will chill you to the bone. Here are the top seven haunted places in Salem that you must not visit alone. The first place on our list is the Witch House. This is the only surviving structure with direct ties to the Salem Witch Trials of 1692 to 1693, where more than 200 people were accused of practicing witchcraft and 20 were executed. The house was the home of Judge Jonathan Corwin one of the judges who presided over the trials and sentenced many innocent people to death. The house is now a museum that showcases the history and culture of colonial Salem, but it is also said to be haunted by the spirits of the victims of the witch trials. Visitors have reported seeing apparitions, hearing voices and footsteps, feeling cold spots and touches, and smelling strange odors in the house. Some have also claimed to experience nausea, headaches, and dizziness while inside. The second place on our list is the Joshua Ward House. This historic house was built in 1784 by Joshua Ward, a wealthy merchant and sea captain. However, the house stands on the site of a former jail where Sheriff George Corwin also known as the Strangler, tortured and killed many accused witches during the witch trials. Corwin died of a heart attack in 1697 and his body was buried in the basement of the jail until his family could claim it. However, his family never did and his remains were eventually lost or destroyed. It is believed that Corwin's spirit still haunts the house, along with the spirits of his victims. People have reported seeing his ghost in the basement, as well as a woman with long black hair who is thought to be one of the witches he killed. There are also reports of doors slamming, lights flickering, objects moving, and voices whispering in the house. The third place on our list is the Burying Point Cemetery. This is the oldest cemetery in Salem, dating back to 1637. It contains the graves of many prominent figures from Salem's history, such as John Hathorne, one of the judges of the witch trials, Samuel McIntyre, a famous architect and woodcarver, and Benjamin Lynn, Jr., a chief justice of Massachusetts. However, it also contains some unmarked graves of people who died during the witch trials or other epidemics. The cemetery is said to be haunted by many restless spirits who wander among the tombstones at night. Visitors have reported seeing orbs, shadows, figures, and faces in the cemetery, as well as hearing moans, cries, laughter, and music. Some have also felt cold spots, breezes, and touches from invisible hands. The fourth place on our list is the Hawthorne Hotel. This elegant hotel was built in 1925 across from the Salem Common and near the Salem Witch Museum. It is named after Nathaniel Hawthorne, a famous author who was born in Salem and wrote many stories inspired by its history and folklore. The hotel is one of the most luxurious and popular places to stay in Salem, but it is also one of the most haunted. It is believed that the hotel is built on the site of an apple orchard that belonged to Bridget Bishop, the first person executed during the witch trials. Her spirit is said to haunt the hotel, along with other ghosts such as a woman who roams the halls looking for her lost child 
a man who hangs out at the bar, and a sea captain who likes room 612. Guests have reported seeing apparitions, hearing noises, feeling cold spots and touches, and smelling apples in the hotel. The fifth place on our list is the Howard Street Cemetery. This cemetery was established in 1801 and contains the graves of many sailors, merchants, and soldiers who died in Salem. However, it is also the site of one of the most horrific events of the witch trials, the death of Giles Corey. Corey was a farmer who was accused of witchcraft along with his wife Martha. He refused to plead guilty or innocent, hoping to protect his property and family from confiscation. As a result, he was subjected to a brutal form of torture known as pain forte et dur, which involved placing heavy stones on his chest until he either confessed or died. Corey endured this torture for two days, until he finally died on September 19, 1692. His last words were reportedly more weight. His spirit is said to haunt the cemetery, especially around the anniversary of his death. People have reported seeing his ghost, hearing his groans, and feeling his presence in the cemetery. Some have also claimed that his ghost is a harbinger of disaster, as he appears before any major tragedy that strikes Salem. The sixth place on our list is the Salem Jail. This historic jail was built in 1813 and served as the main prison for Essex County until 1991. It housed many notorious criminals, such as Frank Abagnale Jr., the con artist who inspired the movie Catch Me If You Can. Albert DeSalvo, the serial killer known as the Boston Strangler, and Sacco and Vanzetti, two Italian anarchists who were executed for murder in a controversial trial. The jail was also the site of many deaths, suicides, and executions, as well as riots, fires, and escapes. The jail is said to be haunted by the spirits of former inmates and guards who died or suffered in its cells and corridors. People have reported seeing apparitions, hearing screams and bangs, feeling cold spots and touches, and smelling smoke and blood in the jail. The jail is now converted into apartments and offices, but some of the original features are still preserved such as the gallows and the dungeon. The seventh and final place on our list is the House of the Seven Gables. This historic house was built in 1668 by Captain John Turner and later owned by his descendants, including Susanna Ingersoll, a cousin of Nathaniel Hawthorne. Hawthorne visited the house several times and was inspired by its architecture and history to write his famous novel. The House of the Seven Gables in 1851. The house is now a museum that showcases the life and works of Hawthorne and his family, as well as the history and culture of colonial Salem. However, it is also said to be haunted by the spirits of some of its former residents and visitors. People have reported seeing apparitions of a woman in black who is thought to be Susanna Ingersoll, a young boy who plays with toys in the attic, a sea captain who appears in the windows, and Hawthorne himself who walks around the house. There are also reports of hearing voices, footsteps, laughter, and music in the house. So there you have it, seven haunted places in Salem that you must not visit alone. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Salem's spooky side. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell me which place you found the most scary or interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.